What's going on everyone? My name's Eric and today on the channel we have this Jackson Misha Mansour HT 7 string here. This is the production version of the Made in America version in this nice like Laguna Seca blue or like a sonic blue, like an old school Fender. It's super duper sick. Super cool about this guitar is that it has an Evertune on it. The reason that this guitar is in today is that it's just going to have a simple string change and maybe a couple adjustments here and there and nothing is super duper crazy with the Evertune. And speaking of strings, Let's talk about today's sponsor. And the sponsor of today's video are my good friends at the String Source. And they're providing the strings for this video and for a lot of the other videos that I do as well. If you guys don't know anything about the String Source, they've been my go-to brand of strings for a few years right now. And what they do differently from other major string manufacturers is that their strings come balanced. And what that means is that every string that is on your guitar is pulling the exact amount of string tension from string one to string six seven, eight, and nine, and so on and so forth. So then you're gonna have the optimized string tension across the fingerboard. Both sides of the guitar, the treble and the bass side, are gonna feel super duper comfy when you go to play the guitar. The String Source has pre-made sets that I've shown on my channel before, and they also offer custom gauges as well. So if you have a specific tuning that we're gonna throw this particular guitar in on today's video, you can order custom gauges if the String Source doesn't have your preferred set of string gauges as a set. You can make your own and they will make it for you and send it right up to you. And as I just said, they are my number one string choice. They stay in tune. The company is ran by great people and they sound so good and they feel so good right out of the box. So do yourself a favor, Go and click the link below and grab yourself a set of String Source guitar strings. And you can use my discount code, which is going to be in the video description and in the pinned comments, in order to get 10% off your order of strings. So go ahead, use the code, save yourself a little bit of money, and get these strings because you are going to make yourself a better player and you're going to notice your guitar is going to feel so much better when you go to play it. And one thing I do want to make very clear before we throw this on the bench is that I'm not going to go into a super deep dive about the Evertune and how it works and everything like that. I actually have another video on my channel which is going to be linked right up here which you can watch after this video if you want to learn more about how the Evertune works and things like that. Otherwise, without further ado, let's throw this on the bench and let's get this thing set up. And here's the Jackson 7 string Misha Mansour signature guitar with the Evertune all finished up here. I actually took the action of this guitar up a hair on the guitar just so the owner can dig in a little bit more. That'll also change the sound ever so slightly. But yeah, otherwise this thing looks pretty dang awesome. Let's go over some specs really fast on this thing. So obviously we have the Evertune because this is the Evertune model of the guitar. The guitar is always going to stay in tune. We have this set to the bend mode. I think that's around zone three. This is where you bend the note and the note actually changes pitch. Unlike, I think it's zone two where the note does not change pitch at all, which is kind of a weird thing to wrap your head around. We also have a caramelized maple fingerboard and neck here, which looks really nice. This is a good figuring. We also have the scarf joint in the back that's very signature to these Jackson guitars. 26 and a half inch scale here because this is a seven string, it's approaching baritone area. 24 nickel frets, they're jumbo sized and we got the Jackson locking tuners on the back. They hold tuning just fine. They do their job very well. We also have Luminlay side dots, which is very nice for when you're playing live. 
These come stock with the Dunlop strap locks as well. That's also nice when your guitar comes with strap locks from the factory. All of them should, in my opinion, but that's for another discussion. This guitar is also a bolt-on, and I know Misha really likes his bolt-ons. He was really rooting for those back in the day, and a lot of people really weren't rooting for bolt-ons because they were traditionally associated with kind of a cheaper guitar. As we've learned, bolt-ons kind of have a bit of a snappier sound to them, so that's probably going to work really well for tuning low and just for extended range guitars. We also have one volume, one tone. The tone is a push-pull, and when the tone is up like it is right now, the tone knob is actually going to be engaged. When it is down, it is disconnected from the circuit or it is just kind of bypassed. We have a five-way pickup selector here, which is then wired to the two Jackson MM1 Misha Mansour signature pickups. I believe these are a take on some of his signature bare knuckle pickups. Um, I haven't played his bare knuckle pickups, so I don't have any sort of reference to compare them to, but as far as I know, they sound pretty great and they do their job just fine. And yet, the elephant in the room is that this guitar is made in Indonesia and there have been a lot of real winners and there have been a lot of real not so much winners when it comes to guitars that are made in Indonesia. I would say try a bunch of them and pick the one that is best to you and one that feels the best and sounds the best in your hands and go with that one because it's not really fair to write off all Indonesian made guitars as bad. Just because there's been a good amount of negative press about these Indonesian guitars doesn't mean they're all bad. Sometimes you're gonna find a winner, you just gotta really look for them. And with that being said, this guitar, uh, the build quality and the fit and finish of this guitar is pretty sweet. I mean, you know, you have a plain uh, painted top here and matching headstock and you got a roasted neck and Evertune and all that, and yeah, it's it feels fine. The fret edges are fine. There's nothing that's outstandingly negative on this guitar. The neck is comfy, and that goes to say that there is some good quality control that is happening, whether that's at Jackson or whether that is at the music store before you go and buy this guitar. So just go try the Indonesian guitars, play as many as you can, and then pick the one that you think feels and sounds the best to you, and then just be on your way to actually playing and enjoying this thing rather than writing a bunch of nasty comments online. So with all that being said, let's plug this thing in and just see how it sounds on its own.
do for today's video reviewing the Jackson 7 string Misha Mansour Pro Series with the Evertune here. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this guitar in the comments below because I would love to read them and engage with you guys on these guitars if you have one. So if you're a fan of Periphery and Misha Mansour and you're looking for a 7 string or even a 6 string equivalent with an Evertune, this might be the guitar for you since generally speaking after hanging out with this one, this one feels really good, it's really solid, it holds tune really well. Evertune might be a bit of a learning curve for you, but that's nothing that you can't spend an afternoon trying to figure out because they do work and they are pretty sick once you get them dialed in. And with all that being said, if you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job and you like the things that I make for you. And if you're new to the channel here, consider subscribing. I have tons more content like this, guitar setups and repairs and tips like that, gear demos, Dimebag and Pantera stuff, and I always have lots of covers coming out down the pipeline. And if you want to get this guitar into your arsenal, you can click the link below and use my Toman affiliate link to then grab this guitar and put it into your collection and once again if you want to get 10% off your next string order through the string source whether that's their own prepackaged sets of strings or your own custom sets use my discount code that's in the pinned comments of this video and in the video description as well thanks for checking this out and I'll see you next time